Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2019 Volkswagen Golf R. This particular unit comes with 288 horsepower and a 2 liter turbo engine. It's also all wheel drive and this is a white pearl Oryx. LED headlights, LED running lights, LED tail lights, air vents on the front where fog lights typically would be on a uh, different uh, Golf family member. Uh, either the GTI or even the uh, Golf SE. Same body style, keyless entry on the front two doors. This is an actual stealth unit. I mean, these cars are under the radar. If you want a car that's fast, quick, still fun, but under the radar where most people won't know what you have under the hood, I suggest this car. Again, this is all wheel drive. There's our line badge on the side, right there. I'm sorry, I said our line, it's our badge. And then side skirts, black side skirts at the bottom, black treatments at the back, and quad exhaust, our badge on the back. Pretty nice looking car. Let's take a look inside. So on the inside here, here's a look at Volkswagen's digital instrument cluster. This is version 1.0. On a digital cluster for Volkswagen, uh, you have different settings that you can do in here with the view. You can change between gear and speed, economy uh, and range, economy, navigation, and then driver assist systems. So you can bring up different things in the little dials on the side there. Uh, this car does come with automatic headlights. Again, there are no fog lights, but there's automatic headlights. It's also power door locks and power mirrors and heated mirrors. One touch up, one touch down on those windows. And a window lock right there as well. Uh, it's a manual hatch open there. Uh, and then there's your trunk release right there. And then you also have chrome covered uh, pedal caps down below and a footrest as well. A telescoping steering wheel with that little lever there so you can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it. Flat bottom steering wheel with the R logo at the bottom here. Uh, gives you more driving comfort. If you go with the automatic or DSG version of this, it's going to be a seven speed transmission instead of a six, and you're going to get paddle shifters on each side. Cruise control functionality is all right here, so you can turn on the cruise control system and set your speed using these buttons right here. Touching and holding sets it at a much faster rate, five mile an hour increments, and you can see it on the speedometer, the little arrow going up. Pretty cool there. And then also you have your assist systems. On your assist systems, this car comes with lane assist, blind spot monitoring, and rear traffic alert as well. Volume control is gonna be right here. Google and Siri functionality is gonna be right here, provided you're plugged in to that USB port right there. That's also your voice command for selecting a radio station and uh, frequency. The view button that changes this display up here. You can also zoom in and zoom out. And you can also hit the OK button. It makes the dials bigger or smaller. Songs, uh, preset skip and uh, seek uh, setups are right here. You can change in this radio how that works. Uh, the radio does come with AM, FM, and satellite. You can pull up navigation right here. You also have App Connect which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink using that USB down there, but you have to be plugged in for that to work. It is not wireless. Um, the backup camera on this car is gonna be absolutely stellar. Uh, it, it does come out of the logo on the back. It's a static camera, but it is an HD camera, so it's got some pretty good video quality. You also have Park Pilot right here in the rear. Those are your park sensors at the front and rear of the vehicle to tell you when you're getting close to an object. So if you're one of those people that puts on an aftermarket front license plate bracket because you don't want to uh, destroy the look of the front of the car with a front bracket drilled into the bumper, I recommend the ECS Tuning uh, website. If you check out ECS Tuning, make sure you get the front license, bra uh, license plate bracket holder that goes into your tow hook cover uh, and does not interfere with the sensors on the front of the car. That's important. Otherwise, you're going to end up triggering the sensors on the front of the car every time. 
and it's going to annoy you. It also has uh, a car setting here where you can go in and personalize the settings. You can set driver one, two, three, and four, uh, well, a guest as number four. And you can also set different things on the car. So uh, climate control is going to be dual zone right here. So you've got, uh, you can have heat on one side and cool on the other. Pretty nice that it does that. Also, you hit the menu button and it brings up a touchscreen menu right here on the screen. So you can adjust fan speed and vent settings all right here on the touchscreen, or you can do the traditional knobs down below. The car is four motion, also known as all wheel drive. With that push button start, you also have drive modes, eco, custom, normal, race, and custom. I'm sorry, I said comfort. I should have said comfort, not custom, in that first one. But you have a different, different modes for different ones here, and you can actually adjust the dynamic chassis control, uh, the steering, the drive system. You can change everything. Adaptive cruise control, all of these different settings that you can change. Also, the engine sound. You can actually change the engine sound to race, normal. It's a, it's a piped-in assist in the car uh, for engine sound. Um, Carbon fiber finish across the dash and into the door. CD player and SD card reader are right there, along with more SD card holders right here for extra SD cards. Let's look at your manuals there. Now, when you do buy a Golf R, you're gonna get these key, ca key fob caps with a little screw. It's a tiny, tiny screw there, if you can see that. Make sure you do this right the one time you do it, because if you drop that screw, you're screwed. No pun intended. Here's a look at that key fob. You get a standard golf key fob there uh, without the chrome caps on it. Those chrome caps actually have the R emblem on them, so they're pretty cool to have. Uh, electronic parking brake and auto hold right here. More cup holder store and storage right there. And then you also have storage in the armrest right here. Pretty nice. These are leather seats. They're perforated leather seats. They're also heated. R badge right there in the seat, embroidered in. Headrest adjust right there. Seat belt adjust right there. Nice, comfortable, tight bolster there that keeps you held in the seat, keeps you planted firmly when driving. If you're driving a little bit aggressive, uh, you do have Carnet, which is gonna be free for six months up here. There's your information, your roadside assistance, and your emergency services right there. Sunglass storage right there. You do have that in this unit because it does not come with a sunroof does come with a vanity mirror on each side with a light above pretty nice there vent setups are going to be right here in the center and over there to that side now let's take a look at the second row or second the back seats i'm so used to doing suvs i say that all the time oh and i did miss on the seat that is a full power seat so there's lumbar support up front there's your up, down, forward, and back in the middle, and then also your seat back right there. So this car, the way it sits, is 41,525. There are no extras on this car. Here's a look at the back seat. So the back seat's pushed back kind of far, but I still have a decent amount of leg room back here and knee space and comfort, so I'm not too far back. But this seat is further back than I would actually have it to drive. But you do have vents for the rear passengers back here and a little uh, rotary dial to turn that off and on. You do also have a center pass-through. I'm sorry, a center armrest and a pass-through right here with a removable cup holder separator in the middle right there. And then there's your pass-through to the back. The seats in the back are also perforated. However, they are not heated. Nice, soft leatherette padding right here on the armrest the car is sculpted pretty nicely there's a look at your digital instrument cluster up front and that center console from the back seat the car at night is absolutely gorgeous it lights up in all white backlit led uh, the steering wheel lights up everything lights up in the car the sill plates light up in blue neon um, and then i'm sorry blue led not neon um, and then there's a look at your center instrument cluster. Uh, the way the console is all laid out feels like a nice, tight, sturdy cockpit. Pretty nice. Now let's take a look at the back hatch. 
LED tail lights as well. And then for that opening of the hatch, just push in on the VW logo and lift up. In the rear hatch, you do have a cargo cover right here that lifts up with the door. This comes with two sets of mats, the cloth mats that are uh, right here. Then you also have monster mats below that. And then there's cargo containment blocks right here. Now this car does not come with a spare. It only comes with a subwoofer underneath here. There's your quick release subwoofer. There's your can of fix a flat. Yes, I said fix a flat. They're not run flat tires, but they are, there's not a spare. So you only have fix a flat with this car. Again, it has LED tail lights, LED running lights, and LED headlights. Love the wheels on this car. I love the pattern. Uh, if you're interested in this car, this has a six year, 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it. Six year, 72,000 miles bumper to bumper. And then also we're gonna give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. It's nationwide if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's in St. Louis. Also, we'll give you three years of free maintenance. Your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are gonna be covered by the dealership. No cost to you. If you have any questions about that, please give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257, or on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.